Is a Japanese chin the right dog for you? Japanese chins are quite cat-like, so they do like to climb and our Japanese chins can be found on the back of the sofa. They get on the chairs on the kitchen table in the kitchen and we've often have actually found them on the kitchen table. So they'll jump from the chair up into the chair and then on the table. But you've really got to be careful of this because sometimes they're not actually that good at getting down again. So, Japanese chin hair is everywhere and I mean everywhere. The floor, um, your sofa, your clothes. Um, so be prepared to embrace the dog hair or buy about 20 lint rollers. Um, whenever we go out, we're always rolling ourselves with the lint roller. Um, so embrace the dog hair. Be patient with your Japanese chin. When you first get a chin, it's really unlike having any other dog. So be prepared to be patient. They're sensitive and that's what makes them a wonderful, wonderful dog. And once you've given them time and they've settled into your home, you will not regret it. They are loving, they're kind, and you will just fall in love with your Japanese chin. The thing to be mindful for is if it gets really warm. Now, we live in the UK, so we have periods of time where it's quite warm and it can get quite hot, um, sometimes about 32 degrees. But what we do is we have a room and we close the curtains and keep it cool, just in case they do get hot. But actually, we're so lucky with our dogs um, they've been bred really, really well, so they breathe well and don't suffer in the heat. But of course, we'd never take our dogs out for a walk in hot weather, um, just because it's not fair to them and it's best to keep them inside, keep them cool um, as best as possible. Japanese chins do need grooming, um, probably around three times a week. You can give them a brush but actually it's not as hard as you think and as long as you keep on top of it it will be fine it does help also to brush them with the shedding of hair but that said we still do have a lot of dog hair about even though we do brush them but like i said earlier just embrace the hair japanese chins are really good with children ours have grown up um, as a family dog um, the only thing I'd suggest is that if you've got toddlers or maybe babies learning to walk, just to be careful in case the baby or the toddler accidentally falls on the dog. But they are really, really sensitive and kind with children. And actually, it's good to teach your children to be wary of the dogs, be kind to the dog and respect the dog. So if they want to go off on their bed, don't touch the dog. That's the dog's safe place and the dog will come out when it wants attention. And I think that's a really good thing to teach the children. And we did that with ours and it's worked really, really well. Now our children are older, the relationship with the dogs is amazing and they really do love each other. Japanese chins really do need human contact. If you have a job where you're out of the house for very long hours, or you like to spend a lot of time out of the house, then this really will affect a Japanese chin. When we got our dogs, we were asked by the breeder, are you going to be in? Um, and now having a Japanese chin, I really do understand why they said that. If you're out of the house for a long time, it really, really will upset them. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you to decide whether getting a Japanese chin is the right dog for you. Please do subscribe to our channel for more videos.
See you again soon. Bye-bye.